everyone hope you're well i'm here today to film my what's in my uni bag video and this is what six years maybe five years since i filmed one of these and it feels a little bit surreal and you guys are probably gonna be like wow this girl has a lot of stuff but listen i'm one of those girls i like to have everything in my bag i'm also one of those girls where you say do you have this? Do you have that? Can I borrow this? Can I borrow that? I'm, I'm that girl, I have it all. And I probably used to have this much stuff in my uni bag when I first went to uni, so not a lot has changed. Um, I'm definitely an overpacker in every sense of the word. This, you guys, is my uni bag. Woo! Um, lots of you guys, again, who are like OGs will remember this bag. I've had this bag since my pre-registration year for pharmacy. That is probably 2015? maybe yeah 2015 so i've had this bag for a while it's a mansa gabriel tote bag essentially it's just a very plain tote but the fun thing about it is that it has a red lining and that's kind of what it's known for uh, should i put this down so you guys can see maybe the bag a little bit better i don't know there we go and i have loved this bag i definitely haven't taken care of it to the amount that I probably should have in my years of using it, but it has come so useful. I've used it for traveling, for, as I said, pre-reg, for work. I have used this bag a lot. It has seen me through a lot of pharmacies that I've worked at. For those of you guys who don't know, I will also be talking about my course as I go on. I I know this is really boring for some of you guys who had know this, and it's like, Barb, seriously, but I feel like I have to preface this because you still get questions in the damn bar. I am a registered pharmacist here in the UK. I have done my four years of studying plus my pre-registration year to qualify. But for me, community pharmacy isn't the ultimate like forever kind of goal. Um, I have a lot more other things that I would love to do. I am hopefully going to be going into aesthetics and things like that. That is kind of the realm of professionalism that I hope to aspire to and I've talked about for years now on here and in order to do that I am trying to further my education and a course that I have signed up to do is that of being an independent prescriber. What an independent prescriber here in the UK is, is a medical professional who is not a doctor or a dentist who wishes to be able to prescribe within their scope of a practice. Now for a lot of people that might be like, whoa that is a lot of lingo. Here in the UK, the dietitians um, paramedics, nurses, pharmacists, and allied health professionals, which I actually don't know much about allied health professionals, are also allowed to prescribe. If you have the, someone that has decided to mow the lawn, guys, I'm not stopping this video, I'm so sorry. Are they mowing or are they drilling? They're drilling or mowing. And here in the UK, essentially, I believe, uh, this all started in 2006 with, I think, nurses, and then it became pharmacists, etc., etc. They're essentially trying to help alleviate a lot of the pressure from doctors, which I totally understand by giving nurses, pharmacists, etc. prescribing rights. Now, you are technically allowed to prescribe most things depending on your of whom you are, but as a pharmacist, you pretty much have the same prescribing rights after you're done with this course as a doctor, but you are essentially only allowed to prescribe within your intended scope of practice, meaning like the topics or the realm of medicine that you are comfortable with. So it's something that I've been banging on about wanting to do for so long. You have to be qualified as a pharmacist for two years in order to apply. I am now qualified for three. Um, you need to find a doctor to shadow your learning. So it's not as easy as just kind of like applying and having the money to go back to uni. Um, there are certain criteria involved. I will leave those linked down below for pharmacists. I don't want to do that for other uh, healthcare professionals just because I don't know much about it. But essentially I have decided to go with, and I know I don't have to talk about this and I was kind of in two minds about it, but I am now studying again, yes, at the University of Hertfordshire. As I said, it's not something that I feel like I have to disclose, but I'm not there all the time. So I feel comfortable saying it. I am now back at the University of Hertfordshire, which is my old university. I attended there for four long years. I never lived there. So, um, I had a bit of a different university experience, but I will leave my university vlogs down below. But it's really surreal being back. There's now a subway, like a bank inside. Um, there's not like so many different things, but it has changed a little bit since I've been there. And it's a little bit surreal, but it's actually weirdly um, comforting being back because I know where most of the rooms are. I know where I can park. It's not like being at a whole new university. I think I did mention in past, um, 
in past vlogs I did originally want to do a more distance based learning course meaning a course where I don't really have to go into uni much but to be honest once um, my friend kind of told me sorry that's my phone my friend told me more about the course and everything I was like do you know what this sounds great and I'm going back to the uni I know I'm basically on week two three now um which is exciting and it's a six month course as i said i will be talking more about the course throughout but this is my crazy huge bag for those out very short hours so let's start depacking this bag so i'm not sitting here for ages i have recently um bought this because i am one of those people that constantly has to drink water like even now i haven't drank enough water today and i have a headache and i'm so used to like at work i take these like big two liter bottles with me but i can't carry that physically in this bag so i bought this from typo it's just like a water canister and i just thought this will still keep me drinking water but means that i'm not constantly buying bottles of water because i don't really want to keep having to buy snacks and things like that in there then I have a book that I'm currently trying to read. This is um, Farah Pahlavi. Farah? 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 Um, I would say in Iranian you'd probably say Farah. Farah um, Pahlavi. And it's An Enduring Love, My Life with the Shah, a memoir. I have recently cleared out some of my books and put them into storage and I found this book and I don't think I've read it. I think I read half of it and then kind of stopped. So. Um, I thought I'd bring this in on days when I'm just like early, which I'm always early for everything. And in case I have a second to open a book, which I probably most often don't, but um, I like to have a book on me. Uh, I remember at uni, I always used to have a book on me. I'm also gonna be showing you guys snacks in this video. I am a serial lecture snacker. I'm not one of those people that can go a full lecture without eating. So um, I love stupid things like things like this. This is some Snacker Jacks, 89 calories a bag. They're really, really good. I then have a tote bag. This is again a new thing that I've started because a lot of times like after uni, I wanna go food shopping and I forgot my food shopping bag, etc., etc. So I got this from, I think Typo again. And it's just a little tote bag and it says I've got this in the bag, um, which is really cute. It was only like a pound, um, but I thought it would be handy for, as I said, like times after uni that I want to go food shopping or even at uni sometimes I need to carry more stuff and I don't have any um, bags with me. I have my pencil case. I was gonna get a really fancy schmancy like little cute pencil case originally and then I was like bars just be practical and you're probably gonna need this in an exam so I got this from WH Smith and I am one of those people that likes to have every single colored pen in the whole wide world because I think the prettier your notes look the more like inclined you are to want to study um, and that's kind of what motivates me. I know it's sad but it's very true. I then also have these pens i have some i'm such a child these are like little gel pens i haven't even opened this yet but they're like little gel pens and you can retract this back like the lid so it sits up as you can see in the picture listen i told you guys i was gonna buy this stuff like it it it's a motivation it really is and then i got these really pretty pastel-y highlighters super exciting i do like my pastel colors i wish i had these at uni when i first went but I guess even WH Smith are getting into the pastel trend. Well done, WH Smith. I then have, um, this is more of like a proper protein bar. This is more the kind of thing that I would eat before um, uni, like for breakfast, if I forget or skip breakfast. Um, this is just a Trek bar. This is the cocoa, uh, coconut flavor, which is my favorite. High in protein. I have some tissues because my nose is forever running. I have my diary again if you guys watched my vlog video you'd have seen this diary it's from typo and it's just got loads of little cute cats and plants on it which is really sweet and it's really good because you can kind of like write um on the days of the month on it um let me show you guys for example this is august so you can write um like you have more visual pre representation of your month um, I will be finished university by then, hence why it's blank. But I also have like work stuff in here. Um, I have my uni timetable printed out just to have like a visual in case I get something wrong. Also um, for like room numbers and stuff all on here. And I just have a little tab thing so that I can like go to the page that I want on it. I then have my coin purse, which this is my little Dior super sweet vintage coin purse, which was heavily influenced by Mel Soldera. Mel has the best Dior collection ever. 
um, and it's just got some coins in here for parking. I would just like to say uh, University of Hertfordshire, it is a little bit mind boggling how, again, I was at uni like what, five years ago? And Park and Ride, which is a service that the uni provides where you park like outside of the uni and then a bus takes you in. When I was at uni, it used to be like 20p. I think it was 20. I'm just like 99.9% .9 sure it was 20. I'm sure you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, whoever studied around my time. And it's now a pound to park at Park and Ride. A pound. I was like, if you're going into uni five days a week and you're a little poor student, that's gonna cost you five pounds a week. That's a lot of money. But if you drive, but if you drive, you probably have some money. You know what I mean though? It's like, wow, I went to pay to get the bus and I was like, oh my God. Then I have my, oh my God, I love this so much. Every time I look at it, it's a vintage Dior like catch-all kind of bag, which I originally bought as a clutch. But as you can see, it is very, very small. And it's just kind of like a really good catch-all. I will show you guys my uni badge thing. My picture is horrendous. Like I said to the guy when I was registering, I was like, can you please, please take a nicer picture than me than I had in my like previous years? And this is what he came out with. I literally look like an Oompa Loompa like an orange. I look like an Oompa Loompa orange. Um, but we basically need to sign in and out all the time. I'm just keeping like um, parking receipts in here. I have hairbands. I don't know why I have every single hairband that I own in here. Um, EOS lip balm. These are really good. These are like um, flap, uh, flapjacks. Oat bars. They're oat bars. Again, great if you skip breakfast. Eyelash colours that I never go without. Um, a Chloe roll-on perfume, a Fenty lip gloss, which this needs to be out actually, because I might wear this today. We'll leave this out. And it just fell on the floor. And a Fenty lip gloss, which I will keep in here. This is one of my favorite things from Fenty. She does the best lip stuff. And a concealer, in case things get tiring. This is in 1B Warm Fair, which is actually a really nice color. I then, penultimately have my eye um iPhone. my eye what are they called not iMac not iMovie this is my laptop case what do you want to call it it's it's the um oh my god I can't remember my mind has gone completely blank the Apple um laptops oh, I can't think. you guys are shouting at the screen at me I just can't think right now I also have my tea over there which I'm wanting to drink but I can't be bothered to get. I then have my university, this is like a portfolio thing um, that we have to do which is probably the thing I'm most scared about. Lastly, that's it. That's all that's in my bag. Those are the things I've already shown you guys. I am quite nervous about all this. I'm sure anyone who embarks on something new like this is. If you are interested in my course and knowing how it's going, let me get my cup of tea. I can update you guys on things. It's so early days. As soon as I have stuff to update you guys on, I'm sure I can do that. But at the moment there isn't much. As I said, it's only like week three and there hasn't been a lot. I haven't even started at the doctor's surgery yet. I'm doing that this Wednesday, which is nerve wracking and exciting at the same time because Weirdly, I mean, I know I've seen like GP behind closed doors and I know I'm a pharmacist, but I don't actually know how a GP works, you know, like a practice. So I'm actually excited to like sit in on consultations and, you know, see, uh, just, just see how a GP surgery is run because as a pharmacist, the, the only times you really liaise with surgeries is when you have a clinical issue um, or you're like chasing up prescriptions. Those are like the two main times that you have to liaise with um, GP surgeries and mainly you're talking to receptionists so it will actually be exciting to see things in the um, eyes of a GP and also um, I'll be shadowing like nurse independent prescribers and pharmacists and going on care home visits and stuff like that so really exciting so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I know it was rambly and chatty but let me know what you guys are doing are you at uni or are you going back to uni and I know the lighting has changed again and gone quite bright so I'm sorry I need to change the settings on this camera but um, let me know if you guys want more university-related um, videos. And I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.